Hey, this is Boo, and I am in Nova Scotia, and I am in Kejimkujik National Park and National Historic Site of Canada. And it's called Keji for sure, right? Absolutely. Keeps it simple for folks. I like that. So this is Duncan Smith. How are you doing? Good. You are a? Stewardship biologist here at the park. So, you know, as you know, I came here and I'm looking for my family and friends and I haven't found any because they have been missing from Nova Scotia for quite a while. Absolutely. They've actually been gone since 1911. That was the last caribou sighting in Nova Scotia. So they're gone from Nova Scotia, unfortunately. So you're probably out of luck, although if you do find one, we really want to know about it. Yeah, well, I see plenty of lichen on the tree, so at least I uh, have something to munch on while I'm taking a look around. There you go. Feel free to, to munch. So, Duncan, when I was coming walking through the park, I also noticed that there's other species at risk that you have here. Yeah, absolutely, Boo. There's actually quite a suite of species, not just within Kejimkujik, but also uh, in southwestern Nova Scotia. We have over 200 species that are pretty rare, but we have about 30 to 35 that are legally listed uh, as federal species at right. risk. So they're at risk in Canada, right. Can which you is name pretty incredible. We're talking about the endangered Blandings turtle, mm -hmm. the threatened uh, eastern ribbon snake. You know what it's like to be threatened. Yes. Uh, we've got the endangered uh, piping plover down on the coast, yep. and we've got a whole bunch of rare plants like uh, the uh, water pennywort. Right. So, so if viewers want to learn some more about these uh, species at risk, where can they get some information? Well, about that's that? good that you ask. In fact, I got something for you. I thought it might help you out too. It's called the uh, Species at Risk wow. Identification Guide. It'll Excellent. tell you about the species at risk in Nova Scotia and how to identify them. And you can actually get this online at speciesatrisk.ca. Speciesatrisk.ca. That sounds excellent. And if people decide they want to take some action and help the species at risk, what can they do about that? Oh, there are all sorts of things you can do in southwestern Nova Scotia to help species at risk. We have a huge volunteer program where we take people out. We've got volunteers out today. I just found out that we had our first turtle emergence, so that means young turtles coming out of the nest. Wow. Uh, so we had three Blanding's turtles today. Pretty incredible. Congratulations. That's beautiful. Thanks. We try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got volunteers out doing that. We've got volunteers out looking for ribbon snakes today as well. And uh, later on in the week, next week that is, we're going to be doing some piping plover habitat restoration. Great. So we have a great volunteer program to really get people's hands dirty. Excellent. And for landowners, we actually work with them quite a bit to look for species, looking for uh, sightings and things, but also helping them steward, helping with stewardship on the land. So right. there's also a healthy, healthy lakes and wetlands guide available at speciesatrisk.ca. Excellent. You can take that with you too. Thank you very much. And this way people can help uh, help the environment, help conservation and species at risk so we don't lose any more like the caribou. Thanks so much, Duncan. It was no great problem, meeting you. you.